Hey everyone and welcome back to Made to Order a la Orden. Today we're making a dish that you guys have been requesting for a really long time and I'm finally excited to be making this dish but more importantly I'm excited to make this dish be part of a three video mini series. There are a ton of different ways to making Dominican beans and today we're going to be making them my way but more importantly we're going to be making easy Dominican beans and you're probably like Z what does that even mean? Okay, so let me run it back. <laughs> when I showed you guys how to make Cuban black beans, we made those from scratch, like scratch, scratch. Like we took the raw beans and we soaked them overnight and then we kind of like tenderized them for hours until they were soft and then we cooked them again. And typically you can do the same thing when you're making Dominican beans, but sometimes I'm in a hurry. Like sometimes I come home from work and I just want some white rice and some Dominican beans <laughs> and some meat and I don't have a whole day and a half to to make them so I take some shortcuts and today I want to show you guys how to do those same exact things. Now my favorite part about making this dish is that everything you see here, so the onions, the pepper, the garlic, all of that is roughly chopped. So you don't have to sit here and make a perfect julienne or like perfectly dice and mince your onions like no. Mm -mm. It's just rough chop and then we're going to saute them. Now, another thing that I do want to caveat with this recipe is this bad boy right here. This is Aoyama. This is a West Indian Caribbean winter squash, which you can find at your local grocery store. But if you can't find Aoyama, you can also substitute this with some butternut squash, some regular potatoes, or my personal favorite, some sweet potatoes, because it will give the beans a really nice subtle sweetness and beautiful color. All right, let's get started with making this dish, but not before I show you all the ingredients you're going to need. We're going to start off by adding some oil into a pot and then we're going to add our onions, our pepper, and our garlic. Now, I rough chop these to make it really easy and then we're going to give that a quick stir. And what we want is we want it to saute and to release those beautiful aromas and we want the onions and the peppers to begin to sweat. And you'll know they're sweating when they're starting to soften. And once they're nice and softened, we're then going to add our beans. Now, because this is the easy version of making Dominican beans, I'm using canned pinto beans. But you can also use some canned Roman beans or you can even use some red kidney beans if you can't find the pinto or the Roma beans. Now, to make this true Dominican beans, you do want to use some Roma or pinto beans. Then we're going to add about two cups of water. Now guys, be sure to use a larger pot than what I'm using here because I actually run into a little bit of trouble later on in the video as you'll see. Then we're going to add some tosopita, which is a chicken bouillon cube, some pepper, some oregano, and some recao, and some thyme. Now the recao and the thyme is really going to bring this dish alive because it's super aromatic and it's going to give it that classic Dominican bean smell and taste. Trust me when I tell you that. So we're gonna mix that together because you wanna help that tomato paste break a little bit because it can be a little bit stubborn. And now we're gonna let this boil away and you'll see right here, this is where I went into a little bit of trouble where I almost almost made a huge mess but lucky i just lowered the frame and avoided a huge disaster so yeah i just want to give that a quick stir and then this is where we're now going to add our aoyama now i mentioned earlier that you can use some butternut squash and you can use some kabuka squash i actually looked that up so yeah if you guys have that at your local grocery store then feel free to add that into your beans and it's going to give it a beautiful color and a nice subtle sweetness it's honestly one of my favorite parts about eating some dominican beans and this is something that we now not only add to the regular beans but even to some guandule guisao también. Okay, so we're going to give that a good stir and we're going to let that boil away for about 20 to 30 minutes until it thickens just like you see here. And at the very end, once it reaches the thickness that you want, we're going to add a pinch of brown sugar and just a tiny bit of vinegar because it's going to bring everything together and it's going to balance out all these awesome flavors that have been stewing away now for about 40 minutes. So yeah, give that one final stir. Make sure it's the nice thickness that you want and feel free to enjoy this same day but it actually tastes better the next day so there you guys have it my recipe to making some dominican beans the easy way or as i like to say some abichuela now let me tell you guys this this dish 
hands down goes absolutely great with some white rice and some kind of meat and one of my favorite ways of having it is with some pollo guisado and lucky for you i already got you guys covered and i made that video a few months back so i'll be sure to link that either right here or down below and you guys already know if you have any questions on anything that you've seen here today visit my website chefzcooks.com or see the description box below and don't forget to follow me on social media and my information of course is listed right here, right here, and <laughs> right here. Until next time, I'm Chef Z, y buen provecho.